and got me an ace machine. Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome back to today's Wild Rift video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Yordle himself, Corky. Now, Corky, again, I'm going to mention the Horizon Cup really quickly. Uh, there was a really, really good player on Corky called Luna, who um, I believe is like number one in SEA or in the China servers or, or something like that. I'm not too sure exactly uh, what number he is in what region, but I know he is one of the best Corkys pretty much in the whole world at the moment. And I wanted to give Corky a try myself. I wanted to go back to the Essence Reaver Corky build. Now, the reason why I believe that people still go for this Essence Reaver build instead of the Manimune is that you get your power spike kind of a lot sooner, to be fair. You're not going for like the scaling sort of AD carry with the Manimune. You're going for the instant burst with the Essence Reaver, the Solari Charge Blade, and the Infinity Edge. And uh, with that in mind as well, you've also got obviously the big massive crit chance that you get as well. So you don't really need to worry about your mana too much. You're not going to be using your abilities too much because you will be most of the time auto attacking. But you have to bear in mind that you will be countered by, you know, items like play to uh, still cap and things like that as well. But in the game that I played yesterday, I saw that my team might have been going for like a full AD comp. So I was like... Let's get a bit of ability power damage in. Let's get a bit of AP in with Corky. Now, obviously, if you don't know, Corky mainly does ability power damage. So, I believe it's like a, a 70 to 30 ratio or something like that. Maybe even more than that. I'm not really too sure. But basically, his auto attacks do mainly magic damage. And obviously, all of his abilities do magic damage as well. So, that's kind of the main thing you need to know with Corky. But yeah, with this build, as I mentioned already, you've got the Essence Reaver in there for the crit chance, the ability ace, and the attack damage. This helps you a bit with your mana. Um, obviously, with the uh, mana siphon, attacks restore 2% missing mana on hit. So, it's quite good when you're quite low on mana. You will obviously be using your abilities a bit, but honestly, it's not too bad, to be honest, with the Essence Reaver. Uh, Solari Charge Blade, still a completely broken item. I wouldn't be surprised if we see it nerfed in the next patch. Uh, plated Steel Caps. Um can go for mercury treads as well if you need to but most of the time you probably want to go for play to steel caps to stop the um you know stop the attacks of the enemies because most of the time at the moment you are seeing a lot of ad assassins like karzik zed um zed as well i knew Ka i said i said zed karzik zed and rengar they're the main ones to be fair but yeah they're really really strong at the moment so make sure that you go play to steel caps most of the time but you can go merc treads as well if they do have a lot of magic damage Infinity Edge, really, really strong. And obviously, when you get these three items, SS Reaver, Solari, Charge Blade, and Infinity Edge, you'll get 100% crit chance every single time you use an ability. So it's really, really strong. Obviously, with Corky, with his ultimate, you can stack up rockets over time. So you can get a lot of stacks of Solari, Charge Blade. And a lot of time, you do an insane burst amount of burst damage, like a crazy amount of burst damage. You'll see in the gameplay today how much burst damage I do. Then after that, you want to go for Void Staff. Now, this is really, really important. Obviously, with Void Staff, you're going to get Magic Penetration, not Armor Penetration. Armor Penetration is not good on Corky. You do not want to go for Armor Penetration. Grudge, Mortal Reminder, take them out of your build straight away. They, they don't work. Well, they do work, but they, they're not good on Corky. <laughs> Obviously, Corky does 70% magic damage. You need to make sure you get that little bit of extra ability power in as well, which will help your abilities and your auto attacks. But also, that magic penetration is going to help a lot as well. Because sometimes, if the enemies do understand Corky, they'll build some magic as they seem to get a little bit of magic penetration in as well. And then for your last item, Garni Angel is really, really good. Just helps keep you alive just in case. But in terms of boost upgrades all of the time, I always go for Stasis. Stasis is really good with Corky because with your package, if you do go a little bit too deep, you can use your Stasis and then you can kind of wait until your abilities come off cooldown or you can wait until your team comes and helps you out as well. So Stasis, really, really good enchant. In terms of runes, Conqueror is still completely broken. The go-to rune on pretty much every single champion at the moment, that's a carry. Just a completely disgusting rune overall. Uh, Brutal, just for that little bit of early game damage, which is quite nice. Uh, Bone Plating to help you against that combo damage. Again, from like Karzix, Rengar, Zed, etc. Things like that. And then Sweet Tooth for the extra healing. And then for your spells, Flash and Barrier or Heal, depending on what your support goes. But yeah, Corky, still one of my favorite AD carries to play. Obviously, he is a bit of a scaling AD. He's not really the strongest in the early game. But if you do can get like, you know, your two items, the Essence Reaver and the Seal and and, uh, and the Slurry Charge Blade, you will get into a really, really strong spot. But yeah, when you get into late game, this champion does 
insane amount of damage to be fair probably one of the best scaling ad carries out there at the moment and like i said one of my favorite champions to play as well especially because all of his skins are really really cool as well but yeah as always hopefully you enjoy the gameplay hopefully you enjoy corky give this build a try let me know down in the comments what you think of corky and what you think of the build itself and as always take care and i'll speak to you all very soon peace